in the hot seat tonight we've got Lenana Kariba so the spotlight's on him he'll be telling us about his life you know in the acting industry in Kenya um, and of course all the things that he's been up to content creation I know that you've been doing a lot of it off late in terms of working with brands as well yeah. um, and just being a brand on your own yeah yeah how's yeah. it been how's, how's the experience since you got back uh, it's been great I mean I was I mean, I just hit the ground running. I didn't know that was the plan. Okay. So, you know, um, I got married last yes, year. congratulations. Uh, thank you, thank you. You and your wife are just so beautiful. <laughs> we'll talk about wifey yeah, later right, on. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what happened was with me now, having gotten married and her living in the UK, I'm actually going to be moving there. Okay. But it's, uh, it's going to be a back and forth thing. I'm going to be here and there, depending on, you know, work and stuff. Yeah, of course. So, I actually came back to get my spouse visa. Mm -hmm. And that's what kept me here. So, you literally just got back. the producers and the mm -hmm. writers of uh, mm -hmm. the show and uh, they called me and they said hey we know you're in the country we've got this show and I think there's a part you'd be perfect for so yeah. why don't you come and audition and see if you like it and I did and, and here we are yeah we are yeah <laughs> so it was it was good fun and then after that of course you know I just talked to a few people get okay. a few more jobs and okay yeah. Love it. But now let's take you way back in time where, you know, you were in uni, you were a younger version of <coughs> yourself, mm. not too sure of where you ended, wanted to end up in life. Um, yep. Was acting something that you thought you'd be fit to do or something that just came along the way? Honestly, not at all. Really? I, I, acting found me. Okay. I always tell How people so? that because I... Um, I was in uni yes. and I was actually studying uh, electronic media and mass communication. It's basically film and, you know, all, all that. Mm -hmm. And I knew I wanted to be in production in some way. So I always wanted to be behind the camera, mm. you know, never like in front in of it. In front or of doing the camera. Uh, and this one time I had gone with a friend to an audition for a TV show. Mm -hmm. And I was just escorting them. Mm. I wasn't actually supposed to be part of mm. this thing. I was just taking them. And when I got there, th there, was, there was a guy who was like handing out scripts and he mm. just came and handed the form to mm. me, you know, and the script. And he's like, take, 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 read. We'll call you when you're ready. And so I'm sitting there with this thing and I'm thinking, I'm not going to do this. And I just put it down, actually. Yeah. And she told me, why don't you just do it? It's like, what are you going to lose? Yeah. Right. And so I went into the room and I just read the lines and I was like, OK, cool. And I just walked out. And you got and the role. And that was it. I, I got the role. <laughs> yeah. <What>? So... <laughs> What happened was... Was that, you actually, was that your first audition? That was my first audition And ever. you got the role. Imagine, yeah. You know, I was just talking to him backstage, I mean, behind the scenes, and yeah. we were just having a conversation. Yeah. And I was like, I've actually auditioned as well for a couple of, of, of shows and, and movies. Yeah. Um, and it's crazy, the, the entire process that actors go through, it's so intense. It's intense. It's nerve-wracking, you know. I mean, at the time, because I thought, oh, man, this is nothing to me. I wasn't that nervous. But now, every time it happens, even today, I am, you know. Still and nervous. Still nervous. Uh, wow. But I was lucky, you know. Everything that happened after that, I have progressed and I think One that I'm doing well another. now for myself. Mm. But um, it's not always easy. I mean, between that first edition and the second show that I got, it was quite a gap and I had done a hundred auditions before I got my next one. Wow. I mean, it's one of those, th I was just very lucky that this one was the one mm -hmm. and it's, it's, it's tough because sometimes you could be a good actor and I know a lot of great actors obviously out there, but you just don't look like the character on, this, mm. on the page, you know, so that's what happens. Mm. I just happened to walk into the room and they were like, that's what we want, Dr. Well, his name was Dr. Maxwell okay. Fuller. Okay. <laughs> and they, they looked at me, I did the lines and the director was actually sitting there. At the time, I didn't know this, but I just read the lines and I walked out. Yeah. And he looked, he says, that's that's, that's the look I want. want. Max will have looked like. Do you like, think it's it uh, something you know to do with being a good-looking man? Do you think you got you get lucky because of uh, your looks? Hmm, I don't think so. Because okay. I, I have played roles where I'm not a very nice guy. Or bad you man, know, a, a bad man, you know, and all <laughs> that. And I I don't think it has anything to do with looks. I mean, maybe sometimes, mm. uh, but I don't think that's the whole 
reason no, of course why. Not. Right. Yeah, you know. Okay, interesting. Um, Lenana, so in school, what were you studying? And, do you know, is it related to what you wanted to do here? Like, when you were in high school, what subjects did you I take? I mean, <laughs> high school, I mean, high school, you know, it's high school. You just, you do everything. do everything. But when I was in high school, I actually did a bit of, like, plays, and I was in skits and those kind of things they make you do but at the time I did it just for fun, for fun. you know I never did it like this is what I want to do yeah, when, it wasn't I, when serious. I get older it wasn't serious okay. in fact I remember we had to pick clubs yeah. in, when you're in high school <laughs> yeah. you have to be in a club yeah. you, you know and I didn't like any of them oh, and yeah. so for the sake of just signing to a club so that I wouldn't get like in trouble I signed up to drama club Interesting. I thought if I, if I go to drama club and I sit at the back yeah. I should be okay <laughs> uh, that didn't happen yeah. <laughs> that didn't happen and the so, forefront. <laughs> yeah I mean I was sitting at the back yeah. but then you know one person was like you come yeah. and then I did an audition for some play that they were, they were doing okay. for the end of the year and, and then I also somehow find myself doing that uh, but then I got into uni. I was studying uh, electronic media and advertising, yes. as I told you. And I, at the time, I just thought, you know, I just want to learn about the production and stuff. Mm -hmm. I want to be a producer or a mm -hmm. film award, you know. Uh, do you see? Do you DOP. see that happening anytime in future? Because I know a lot of actors eventually go on eventually, to become producers yeah. and directors. Mm. Um, is that something that you would like with your? career i think yes i think actually from from here now i think the next step for me would be to 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 kind of focus more on that and okay. see what i can do with it okay yeah interesting maybe open a production house in the uk i mean oh well, maybe <laughs> you know it's tough you get, the yeah. uk is tough man it you is. know like here it's nice because nairobi is so small mm -hmm. you know you do it for a couple of years small and then you know community. everyone you That's know so true yeah so, so true. it's so it's easy that way but you know in the uk it's huge you know it's okay so you could be the next, our next Lupita, the male version. Maybe we could be lucky. <laughs> yeah, Lupita was lucky too, yeah, you know. So yeah. like, you know, you <laughs> could yeah. be lucky, yeah. Okay, so you know, I mentioned that we're going to talk about wifey. Uh, I really yeah. want to know how you guys met. Uh, I've just been reading a lot about you two, and it's just such a fairy tale. <laughs> so tell me. No, don't say that. You know what? You it's actually not as. I mean, maybe the whole thing that happened after with us being yeah. together and how we are, and everyone thinks, oh, you're so cute. And, and I, like the fact know, that, you know, you've actually made a marriage work through kind of long distance. Yeah, well, right not, not by choice, of yeah, course. You of course. know, it, it's tough now because, you know, we got married in August. I, mm. I came back to Nairobi in October, mm. November, and I've been here since. And wow. it's not because I want to be here. Like yeah. I said, you know, my yeah. visa and all yeah. that. So I'm still waiting for that to, to process mm -hmm. and then I can go back. Mm. So not by choice, okay. uh, but we have made it um, this far and we are strong. It's amazing. You know, I try to be, you know, she's, she's, she's probably not as strong as I am. Sometimes yeah. it really gets to her. Um, but yeah, but you know, but we're doing okay. okay. We are, and Lovely. we're awesome. Uh, now the story of how we met. Yeah, where did you guys meet? I want to know. It's not a fairy tale at all because okay. it, was, it was one of those things where I had gone for a friend's uh, birthday party okay right it was a house party and she was there now i had known this person for a really long time the friend yes the okay. friend i had known them for a really long time and they knew helen my wife mm -hmm. is, is helen they knew helen for a long time too but we never met and we always make fun about that now like how is it that we've known this yeah, person but you just for this never long, met but we never met and mm -hmm. but we did that day actually the funny thing is i did meet her helen before like yeah. a year before that yeah but uh, it was just in passing. And I said, hi, oh, it's nice mm. to meet you. That was it. At the same house party. But this is now like a year later. Wow. Uh, but uh, it was, and I didn't actually remember meeting her the first time. But this yeah. time when we were introduced. And you know, she we remembered started, it. No, she didn't remember me okay. either. Okay. Yeah, we didn't remember each other okay, at all. <laughs> she was just like, oh, Lenana, yeah. yeah, okay, nice to meet you. And then um, it was later on that um, our, our mutual friend told us that, you know, you guys have met before, right? That's crazy. And I was like, at the exact same house. Wow. And I'm like, what? Are you serious? It's like, yeah. So anyway, that night we talked for a bit more and yeah, I mean, like, we just hit it off. Okay, so after <laughs> the night ended, who messaged who first? Uh, I did actually, yeah, you know, yeah. I did, you know, that thing where you get someone's number because yeah. I did ask for her number. Oh, nice. <laughs> and, you know, you're told how uh, you should wait a couple of days before you, you don't want to yeah, seem too desperate. Yeah. I texted her the exact, as soon as I got home. Oh, hey, I'm home. Nice. Like, lovely you know, meeting you. It was so nice meeting you. <laughs> oh, I love I'd it. really like to see you again. Yeah. And she replied and she was like, yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Oh, that's lovely. That's so nice. And the rest is history. And, and your <laughs> wedding was so beautiful. It was in the Caribbean islands and, you know, yeah, just it was so dreamy. Like, it looked like a movie. I wouldn't like <laughs> Yeah, did it? Yeah. It was, it was amazing. I think um, 
it had a lot to do with me getting my papers together and stuff and okay. so we knew we had already talked about getting married okay. at this time i had already proposed okay. uh, january of last year and we knew we wanted to get married we were going to wait until we came back to kenya okay. but then you know lockdown happened and it was taking a really long time yeah and so, you know, we actually talked with our parents and stuff and we said, listen, let me just get the papers together mm -hmm. so that I can finalize my moving there. Mm. And when we come back, when everything is settled down and everything is okay, we'll mm -hmm. come back and mm -hmm. we'll have the whole wedding now. Everyone mm -hmm. can be there. Aww. So we just did it, the two of us, actually. Wow. I think it was really special. It, it was kind of like our wedding and our honeymoon at the same, same time, time because we, right. you know, we, we got married and then we had yeah. the rest of the seven days yeah. to just enjoy the, the, the scenery it's and everything. Beautiful. It was amazing. I, I love I love how you did things in a very different way. It was a very unconventional way to get married, right? As yeah, people yeah, would say, because yeah. usually you expect there to be a big celebration, True. you know, with a lot True. of people present. Yeah, um, yeah, I know. So yeah, I mean, but the the, the hotel that we were staying at um, were very nice. You know, they did everything for us. Wow. We just had to show up. Okay. And uh, one of the ladies who was the manager, she yeah. was our witness and stuff. Yeah. So we did have someone there with yeah. us. You know, <laughs> yeah, but but it was nice. It was amazing. Yeah. And but we always knew we wanted it to be a destination wedding. Okay. So even if we did it here, we probably would have done it in the beach mm. still. Anyway, but, okay. But yeah. Banana, I've I've been following you on Instagram for a while, and I love that you do these question and answer segments. You know. <laughs> yeah with your yeah. followers and people who have been watching you, your fans as well. Um, there's a lot of questions that, that people ask about like how your wife is so okay with you doing all kinds of scenes. Um, and, and, and I love that she actually came on to say that, yeah, I mean, it's okay. I don't have an issue because that's acting. That's his work. Mm -hmm. And I also like that you went on to explain what really happens behind the scenes. And it's not as romantic it as, is as you see uh, definitely on, not. on, on mean, TV. Everyone, right? thinks, everyone thinks that there's, you know, they see what you see on TV looks amazing. But that's because the people behind the camera make it look amazing. Yeah. But if you were there while we're shooting it, it's not as romantic or cut, anything. Cut, cut, There's over a lot and of over cuts again. and, you know, and you have to think when you're kind of having like an intimate scene with yeah. somebody else, there's like 12 people in the room. Yeah. And so, you know, it's not, it's not as, you know, as intense as you would think. We make it seem that way, of course, with the acting, actors. but, you know, as <laughs> yeah. soon as they say cut, you know, you just walk away and you're like, cool, you know, you just, you know, you just I end mean, up doing your own thing. Doing your own thing. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I think a lot of people uh, would say that it's normal for somebody else, to your partner, to yes. be okay with it, especially if they came into the game of the relationship knowing that you're you an are actor. an actor, these mm. are the kind of things you're mm. going to do. And, and I think that's the one of the things that really drew me to her. You know, did you she speak really about it before getting married, or when you started dating? About my did work, you have that conversation. We talked about my work. We didn't talk about like, okay, so who are you gonna be on set yeah. with? You know, okay. like, what are you gonna be doing with Sarah, Sarah and Faith? You know, you know. <laughs> uh, we we didn't really talk about it that depth, but she okay. knew, you know, what it what it was like. She's she's never dated an actor, but she knows obviously what acting is like. And if this came about, you know she's okay with it if, and I, I just it. said you know that's one of the things that really drew me to her she's yeah. very supportive and I love it she's your times, biggest fan my number one fan Aww. and I, I know every and it sounds cliche and every guy yeah. is probably going to say that about his girlfriend or his wife but she really is my number one fan she she watches she, all your movies she's, all she's your watching shows. this right now Oh man, we have right to now, give yeah. her <laughs> a shout out, <laughs> right? So she's in the UK, but she's watching it uh, That's online. Amazing. She's That's watching amazing. this right now. I love so. technology. I know, right? This yeah, is, this is amazing. Yeah. We have to it's say amazing. hi to Helen, and we have to uh, tell her how incredible she is for being so supportive. I know. Um, and we have right. to say thank you for being such a lovely wife and a she's human being. The best. Yeah. You know, uh, sometimes I give her my scripts to read until yeah. I'm like, babe, what do you think? And like when I gave her the script for Single Kiasi, she said, oh, this is really nice. So who's going to be playing this Rebecca girl, the one that mm. you have a, you know, in, a relationship with? I said, I don't know yet, but I'll find out. And she's like, well, she better be pretty. Oh. Because I don't want you like, you know. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, wow, okay, okay. cool. I'll, I'll try and make sure she is. <laughs> Which she is. Yeah. Which she is. Faith is a, a, that's, a you know, that's, very that's pretty girl. That's amazing. So, yeah. um, so, Lenana, we've spoken about, you know, your future plans. You said probably at some point you would like to be directing or you know in the production scene mm -hmm. um have you have you had that conversation with maybe different production houses as to what your vision is on who lenana is in terms of an actor certain role that you want to portray in future are you selective on the kind of scripts um, that you're picking right now uh yeah yeah i am i am selective very selective on the scripts i'm picking and okay. uh because at you know at the beginning of it i was really just trying to 
grow as an actor, you're really trying to like be better at your skill and mm -hmm. you know figure mm -hmm. out what it is that you're good at. So I would do a lot of odd things here and there. But yeah. now I think I've gotten to the point where I can see a script and yeah. it doesn't matter how good it is. I'm like, a uh, character is just not for me or I don't like, or maybe I just don't like the script and I'm like, okay, cool, I don't want to... I don't wow. want to go near that or so anything. So you, you've actually been, you're in a position right now where you've actually turned down roles. I have. I've turned wow. down a bunch of roles. I uh, you know, I actually, I, I, did, um, I did the final season of uh, Crime and Justice, yes. season two. By the way, that was an amazing Thank episode. you. Thank you. Uh, you and Sarah, like, you have some serious <laughs> chemistry. Have you guys we been can friends, talk about that. like, uh, before? Yeah, Sarah and I have known each other for a very long time. Oh. We're very good friends. Kind of shows. Yeah, in fact... It's because we're friends and I know Sarah and we've actually done Plan scenes B like that well. and, and where we have to be intimate and interact like that together. It's very easy. It's yeah, very easy. Yeah. Um, if I had to do that with someone I didn't know, mm -hmm. there would be that time that you have to get to know this person first and then build that kind of uh, comfortable rapport between the two of you. But right. if you know someone like I did with Sarah or I did with uh, Faith Kibathi for Single Kiasi, I knew her already. It was easy. We, okay, uh, you know, we're okay. friends already and it's like, okay. you know, yeah, we're just working and so yeah. the chemistry is really... Okay. Yeah, that made it easy for me. Yeah. yeah. Any, any particular role that you would love to do? Some, that's something that you haven't tried, you know, experiment? Um, no, I don't have a particular role that I would... I mean, I, I think anything that's outside my comfort zone is probably something I would really like to do because mm -hmm. I think that makes me grow as an actor. I think okay. that's going to make me better. Okay. And... Um, because I have tend to stick a lot to my comfort zone and stuff. I have stepped out a bit by being the bad guy, you yeah. know. Before I was always the, the you know, the boy next door. The boy next door Chocolate who, boy. Yeah. <laughs> I got tired of that very yeah. quickly and I was like, I don't really want to be seen like that all the time, yeah. you know. Sometimes I just want to be the bad guy who everybody hates. Mm. Which, you know, I don't mind. You know, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun being the bad guy. Okay. Yeah. Okay, interesting. So you've been doing this for like 12 years or so, right? Yeah, 12 years. And um, we just had a conversation before we began. And you mentioned that sometimes, you know, you actually end up being given a script. And you have no time to get to know the character. And mm -hmm. you just have to go and start filming and start shooting. And how does yeah. that work in terms of preparation? What does that do to you? Well, the thing with that is a lot of times, and this actually happened with uh, Crime and Justice. Okay. Because I remember I told you I turned down roles. Yes. Crime and Justice had actually called me several times for different characters on since season one. Really? And they called me for different episodes, but I was like, no, I don't like that one. I don't yeah. like that one. I yeah. don't want that one. And then I was handed the script for the finale of season two, and I was like, oh my God, I love this oh, episode. Yeah. I loved the episode more than I loved the character, and mm. I think that's what made me do it even more. Um, and I think I got the script maybe two days before we had to shoot. Wow, two days! I had a little like snippet thing when I auditioned. They yeah. only give you a few lines. Yeah. But I got the script like two days before we started shooting. And when I read through it, sometimes it's easy, especially if, it's, if you don't have to go too far outside yourself to mm -hmm. just be this person. It makes it easier. A lot of the times, I sit down with the director, and he, you know, like... I, we have a call, we are like, we'll have a, a video call and I'll tell him, this is what I think and we very quickly try to discuss the character and in those two days I tell him this is what I want to bring out of it and this is how I'm going to do it. Okay. And if they're okay with it, then we go along. Mm -hmm. and yeah. So a lot of the times it's just doing what you feel like yeah. this character would yeah. be and if the director is okay with it, then you just re roll with it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I want to play a little game with you, a rapid fire. And I'm going to okay. ask you a few right. questions. Okay. Okay. Uh, you have to just be really quick and like, just be honest. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing intense. This is. Crazy. All right. All right. <laughs> let's, let's see. Yeah. Okay. So let's start off with beach <coughs> or safari. Beach. Okay. Tall or short? Tall. Tall. Of course. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to ask. So the, who's your favorite actor? Oh man. Should I be quick about this? Yeah. That's a hard one though. Okay. I mean, Top I can't. Three. three. Denzel Washington, mm -hmm. uh, Winona Ryder, mm -hmm. I love her, she's amazing. Mm -hmm. Robert De Niro, okay. I guess, I mean, there's so many, that's, that's off the top of my head, okay. but yeah. A role in a Hollywood movie that you think you would have played better than the actor? <laughs> oh, that's, that's, wow. Um, anything that Vin Diesel has done, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> okay, okay, I see what you're doing. <laughs> Yeah. Being fast and furious, aren't you? Anything that you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, uh, if, if a book was to be named after you, okay, like an autobiography, what would the name of the book be? <laughs> uh, one word. One word? Mm. One word of the mm. book. 
No, like the title. The title? Yes. One word. In one word. Um, God. I, <laughs> I don't know. My life isn't very interesting, guys. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it would be exciting. I, I don't know. Right. I, I'm just saying right. that because I think for me it is. But an I, adventure. Yeah, an adventure. Something like that. Mm. I probably adventurous then. Yeah, I probably should. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's a tough one. A though, Hollywood, yeah. a a Hollywood of... actress that, or Hollywood or even Kenyan actress that mm. you, you you'd love to work with. Um, well, I've, I've really worked with a lot of people that okay. I've told myself, man, I would really love to yeah. work with her. Okay, in Hollywood then? Uh, oh, in Hollywood? Yeah. Um, I would love to, I mean, I would love to work with Denzel mm -hmm. Washington for sure. Uh, I think maybe Idris Elba. Idris Elba. a good one. I think nice. I'd love to work with Idris Elba. I like that choice. Uh, oh, Idris, uh, Damson Idris. Yeah. I don't know if a lot of people would know Damson Idris. No. He's, he's a UK actor, um, Snowfall, stuff okay. like that. I mean, if okay. you go check him out, you'll see. Okay. Yeah, he's probably someone I'd really love All to right. work with. Interesting. Yeah. Um, the last one. In your eyes, who is the best Kenyan actor and who is the best Kenyan actress? <laughs> and you can't say your own name. Oh man, yeah. that's that's cheating now. You can't. Or if I say it, it is cheating. No. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, who is the best Kenyan actor? Mm. <laughs> I can't say one. Okay. It's two. not gonna be any. If I if two. I say one, guys will be like, oh, you two. Know. Say two. Um. Being nice. <laughs> being nice. Yeah. Ah, uh, let's see, Kenyan actors. Uh Pascal Tokodi is actually a really good actor. Okay. You know. Okay. Him and I have known each other for a while okay. also. But so basically uh, Pascal and yourself, right? Pascal and myself, of course, okay. yeah. <laughs> female? Uh, female, uh, I mean, I, I'm not going to, because everyone would think I would probably say like Sarah San, who's an amazing actress, yeah. of course. I yeah. think she's one of the greatest. Um, but there's some like, you know, like the, the underdogs who people might not know about. Mm -hmm. Like when we did a single Kiasi, you know, the like Faith Kibathi is mm -hmm. an amazing actress. Okay. Love working with mm -hmm. her. Nice Kidenji. Mm, nice is uh, great. Nice, nice, nice is, is great. amazing. Nice is nice. I have, <laughs> I have loved nice since like changing times, man. Wow. And, and that's actually one of the first times okay. that we met. Okay. And she's amazing. I okay. love her acting. Okay. She's really last good. one. I said I was the last one, but I have one more. All right. You're just going to keep doing this yeah, yeah, until we're done. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> A Kenyan right. director that you'd love to work with? Um, Kenyan director I'd love to work with. I, I don't have one particular one that... I'd love I, 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 do, I do like socializing. I do know how to go out and meet new people and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. and adventure. I mm -hmm. do love that. Mm -hmm. But I am a loner. I do love being alone okay. by myself. Okay, you enjoy your alone time. I enjoy my alone time very mm -hmm. much, actually. Yeah. Okay. So, nice. yeah. so Lenana, you know, um, your parents, you know, people who have pushed you, was, it, was there ever an issue when you told your parents or your family that you wanted to be an actor and <laughs> this is what you wanted to pursue? Um, no, not so much. Uh, you know, with, with my family, my, my, my siblings kind of paved the way in terms of going into that kind of entertainment yes, industry. Yes, I know your brother's in the same industry as well, right? Yeah, yeah. My, my eldest, actually, uh, Bam Ziggy, mm -hmm. right, is my older brother. And when he started that whole thing, I think maybe my, I, I didn't really know how my parents felt about mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and then my, now the brother before me, uh, Cora, mm -hmm. who was part of the council yeah. and uh, is a, an amazing producer now as well. He also, you know, paved that way. And, you know, my, my dad and my, and my mom, uh, you know, my dad especially, he was very comfortable with letting us be what we wanted to be. I love that. So it's like, if that. you feel like you're happy doing this, then 
I'm all for it and I support you. That's and beautiful. That, That's yeah, lovely so. to hear. Um, Lenana, as we wrap up, any you know advice that you have for the youngsters and of course actors who are really trying to break through in this industry? It, as you said, there's a lot of actors out here who are so talented but they don't get the chance. Um, what would you yeah. tell such people? I think it is, it is tough and I'm not going to lie. It is. And the story that I told you before about how I got my audition, I was lucky, but mm -hmm. like I said, after that, you know, before I got my next job, it took some time. And when I realized that, oh my God, this is something I really enjoy doing. Yeah. This is something I love. I want to keep doing this. I just kept pushing and I never, gave up. I never give up. Because the thing is, when you know what you want from yourself and you want to, you know, pursue this and you have a passion for it, nothing's really going to stop you, mm. you know? So like... Even if you feel like maybe it's not working out right now, it will work out at yes, some point. Absolutely. You know? and, there's a, and especially now in this day and age, there's a lot of opportunities coming up with all these platforms coming into Nike, yeah, you know, into streaming. Kenya, you know, so the streaming platforms exactly. and stuff. A lot of opportunity to, to actually put your foot into the industry and do something. So just, just never give up. I love that. Any it's message for your good. fans? For Lenana lovers, Lenana fans out here. Oh <laughs> man, my fans, my supporters. Uh, I mean, just that I love you guys so much. Uh, you guys are amazing. I love the support. I mean, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be sitting here yeah. with the amazing Shiksha right now or be where I am in my career yeah. right now. So yeah. just thank you so much. Thank Love you, it. thank you, thank you. Yeah. All right, so thank you so much, Lenana. That was an absolute pleasure. Oh, I, um, loved, I loved every bit of the conversation. You know, so many little things that I've learned from you tonight. <laughs> and, and yeah, just thank you. Thank you for being so inspiring. Um, and I feel like you're so grounded and humble. And it's very hard to come across these days. <laughs> Yeah. So, I don't know, maybe Helen has something to do with that. Or maybe your family, your upbringing. Uh, my, my, my family has a lot to do yeah, with that. Yeah, you know, so it's amazing. Those so, things I mean, go honestly, to your head. keep doing you, yeah. keep being you, and keep shining. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. I really yeah. love this. I yeah. love being here. Yeah. Like I said, it was so great to come thank you. You know, thank here you. and do this. Thank you so. for coming. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right, and that's how we wrap up this edition of Spotlight, of course. We've got Lenana Kariba with us. I'm going to make sure we do a dance together later on. So watch out our social media. <laughs> We're going to post that later on as well. Yeah. Um, he's a fantastic dancer from what I hear. <laughs> You'll see for yourself. But yes, thank you. Thank you once again for sticking right here on Easy Friday. We'll do this again next week. Same time, same place. Shiksha Aurora signing out. Cole Jacks, it's time for you to take it away.